Ever wondered what it feels like to possess billions at your disposal? Imagine waking up, rubbing the sleep from your eyes, and encountering more zeros in your bank balance than a complex balance than a complex calculus exam. It's like discovering the bonus of extra fries lurking at the bottom of your takeout bag, amplified by a million. Welcome back to Steph is King Entrepreneurship, the space where we make the seemingly impossible possible. Hello there, fellow prosperity attractors. Are you interested in a sneak peek into the world of abundant wealth and grandeur in the year 2024? Stay tuned, because we are about to set sail on an exhilarating voyage. Allow me to introduce you to our mascot of prosperity, John. A humble man who flipped his fortune, dare I say right side up, by adhering to the financial gospel preached by the legendary investor. This isn't just a journey, it's a voyage to financial liberation. Fast forward to 2024 and the pearls of wisdom from Warren Buffett still resonate powerfully much akin to the lingering scent of a fine vintage wine. Together we'll unravel these enduring strategies that possess the potential to transform your life from mundane to magnificent. So, how did Buffett develop these invaluable strategies? How did John manage to effectively implement them? And how can you too build your wealth empire in 2024 utilizing these principles? Fasten your seatbelts folks, as we traverse through the profound knowledge of Buffett and the victorious narratives of John, revealing the secrets that catapulted them to their financial guru status. Gather around, comrades of wealth. We are about to lift the veil on the universe of these financial virtuosos. So, are you prepared to decode your personal treasure map to financial triumph? Oh, and just when you thought it couldn't get any better, we have a special surprise for those of you, for those of you who accompany us till the very end. Believe me, it's something you wouldn't want to miss. Are you prepared to render this chapter a memorable experience? Now let's kick off with a quiz. Who is Warren Buffett, a legendary figure in the investment world? Buffett for his disciplined methodology of purchasing and holding stocks. His strategies have led him to being named one of the wealthiest individuals globally. In this chapter we'll delve into his life, his investment philosophy, and his journey to becoming the Oracle. Warren Buffett's first tip for wealth building in 2024 is having a long-term investment mindset. But what does that mean exactly? Well, it's all about perspective. Picture the investment landscape as a vast ocean. Short-term investors are like surfers, riding the waves but always at the mercy of the next big swell. On the other hand, long-term investors are like deep-sea divers, exploring the depths and uncovering treasures that short-term surfers never even see. Why is the long-term investment mindset important, you ask? Well, it's simple. The stock market is unpredictable in the short term but over the long haul it has historically trended upwards. That's why Buffett says, our favorite holding period is forever. By investing for the long term, you're giving your wealth the time it needs to grow. But how do you apply this mindset? First, ignore the noise. The financial news can be a cacophony of panic and hype, but long-term investors stay focused on their goals. Second, invest in quality. Buffett doesn't just buy stocks, he buys businesses. He looks for companies with strong fundamentals and good growth prospects, regardless of what the market is doing. And finally, be patient. Rome wasn't built in a day, and neither is a fortune. It takes time for compounding to work its magic, so sit back, relax, and let your investments do the heavy lifting. Now here is your first quiz question. Can you name a company that Warren Buffett has invested in for the long term? While you ponder that, remember this. The long-term investment mindset isn't just a strategy. It's a philosophy, a way of approaching not just investing but life itself. It's about having the patience to wait for the right opportunities, the courage to seize them when they appear, and the wisdom to hold on for the ride. So, are you ready to dive deep and discover the treasures that await beneath the surface? Let's find out in our next scene. Moving on to Buffett's second tip, focusing on quality businesses. But how can you identify a quality business? Well, let's decode this together. When we say quality businesses, we're talking about those that excel in their industry, have a strong competitive edge, and are led by a capable and honest management team. These businesses usually boast consistent financial performance and have a clear growth trajectory. In other words, they're the cream of the crop, the best in their field, the ones that stand out from their competitors. Why is it essential to invest in such businesses? The answer is simple. They're more likely to provide steady and significant returns in the long run. Quality businesses have a knack for weathering economic storms and emerging stronger. They're the ones that keep growing and innovating, regardless of the market's ups and downs. But how do you spot these businesses, you ask? 
It's all about doing your homework. Start by analyzing the business's financials. Look for consistent earnings growth, strong cash flow, and a solid balance sheet. Then, assess the company's competitive advantage. Is it a unique product, a cutting-edge technology, or perhaps a strong brand? Also consider the management team. Are they experienced, competent, and trustworthy? Beyond the numbers, you should also consider the company's reputation, its commitment to innovation, and the overall health of its industry. Remember, Buffett himself said, it's far better to buy a wonderful company at a fair price than a fair company at a wonderful price. Now here's a quick quiz question for you. Which quality does Warren Buffett look for in a business? Is it A, a strong brand, B, a unique product, or C, all of the above? Think about it, and drop your answers in the comments section. We'll reveal the answer in our next video. So there you have it, folks. Buffett's second tip, focus on quality businesses. It's not just about buying low and selling high, it's about investing in companies that are built to last, that have the potential to provide steady returns over the long haul. And remember, as Buffett says, time is the friend of the wonderful company, the enemy of the mediocre. Now that's some food for thought, isn't it? Let's take a moment to break away from the tips. If you're finding this video helpful and are eager to explore these wealth building tips further, then you're going to want to stick with us. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications by hitting the bell icon. This way, you won't miss out on any upcoming videos. And we have a lot more insightful content planned, including more tips from financial gurus, deep dives into successful businesses, and challenging quizzes to test your knowledge. So, if you haven't done it yet, go ahead and subscribe to Steph is King Entrepreneurship and hit that bell icon. Remember, knowledge is power. And by subscribing and turning on notifications, you're taking a significant step towards empowering yourself financially. All right, now that we've got that covered, let's jump right back into the wealth building tips from Warren Buffett. Stay tuned. Now, let's dive into Buffett's third and fourth tips, value investing principles and the importance of continuous learning and adaptation. Value investing is all about finding and buying stocks for less than their intrinsic value. It's like hunting for items on sale at your favorite store, but instead, you're shopping for stocks on the market. Buffett's principle of value investing is to buy stocks when they are undervalued and hold on to them until their true value is recognized by the market. This principle requires a deep understanding of the company and its potential for growth. But how do you achieve such understanding? That's where Buffett's fourth tip comes into play. Continuous learning and adaptation. In the ever-evolving financial markets, staying informed is key. Buffett himself spends most of his day reading and learning about different companies and industries. He believes that the more you learn, the more you earn. So, make it a habit to read financial news, study annual reports, and stay updated on market trends. But, learning is only half the battle. The other half is adaptation. Market conditions change, businesses evolve, and so should your investment strategies. The ability to adapt to new information and changing circumstances is what sets successful investors apart. As Buffett once said, the most important quality for an investor is temperament, not intellect. This means that it's not enough to have knowledge. You also need the patience to wait for the right opportunity and the courage to act when it appears. So as you continue your wealth building journey, remember that investing is not a sprint, but a marathon. It's about making consistent, well-informed decisions over a long period of time. Now, it's quiz time again. What is one principle of value investing that Warren Buffett always emphasizes? Is it A, buy high and sell low, B, buy when everyone else is selling, or C, buy only when you understand the business? Think about it and share your answer in the comments below. And remember, the road to wealth is a journey, not a destination. So keep learning, keep adapting, and most importantly, keep investing. Because as Warren Buffett says, the stock market is a device for transferring money from the impatient to the patient. And finally, we come to Buffett's fifth tip, patience and discipline in decision-making. This may seem simple, but it is often the most challenging to implement. In the world of investing, it's easy to get swept up in the latest trends or panic when the market takes a downturn. Buffett, however, has always championed a different approach. He advises investors to resist the temptation of quick wins and instead focus on making thoughtful, well-informed decisions with a long-term perspective. This means not just jumping on every opportunity that comes your way but rather, taking the time to thoroughly research and understand the potential investment. It also means having the discipline to stick to your investment strategy even when things get tough. 
Remember, as Buffett famously said, the stock market is a device for transferring money from the impatient to the patient. To wrap up, here's your final quiz question. Can you share an example of when Warren Buffett demonstrated patience and discipline in his investment decisions? Before we wrap up, let's take a moment to engage with each other. We've covered a lot of ground today, delving into Warren Buffett's wealth-building strategies. Now, we want to hear from you. Which of Buffett's tips resonates with you the most? Do you see yourself focusing on quality businesses or do the value investing principles speak to you more? Maybe the idea of continuous learning and adaptation is what caught your attention. Or perhaps like Buffett, you believe in the power of patience and discipline in decision making. We'd love to hear your insights, questions or thoughts in the comments below. And let's take this interaction a step further. How well do you think you know Buffett's teachings? Can you share an instance where you applied one of his tips in your own investment decisions? We challenge you to drop your answers in the comment section below. This is more than just a discussion. It's a chance for us all to learn from each other, to grow our understanding of investment strategies, and to become better investors. So, let's get this conversation started. And now, for a bonus tip from Warren Buffett himself. We've saved this gem for last because it's a cornerstone of Buffett's investment philosophy. It's the power of compound interest. But what does this mean? Simply put, compound interest is interest on interest. It is the result of reinvesting interest rather than paying it out. So that interest in the next period is then earned on the principal sum plus previously accumulated interest. This may not seem like much at first, but over time, it can significantly increase your wealth. This is why Buffett always emphasizes the importance of starting to invest early. The earlier you start, the more time your money has to compound and grow. It's a snowball effect. Your wealth keeps building and growing much like a snowball rolling down a hill. It starts small but as it rolls it picks up more snow and becomes bigger and bigger. Remember as Buffett says, do not save what is left after spending, instead spend what is left after saving. Now that's a bonus tip worth remembering isn't it? So, start investing, let your money work for you, and watch the magic of compound interest unfold. Now you have all the tools you need to navigate wealth building in 2024 just like Warren Buffett. We've explored his five invaluable tips, starting with the long-term investment mindset, focusing on quality businesses, and adhering to value investing principles. We've also highlighted the importance of continuous learning and adaptation, and the necessity of patience and discipline in decision-making. These strategies have guided Buffett in his journey to financial success, and they can do the same for you. But remember, these tips are not a magic wand. They require time, effort, and commitment. They are part of a larger journey, a journey towards financial independence and prosperity. And on this journey, you're not alone. We're here to guide and support you every step of the way. We hope you enjoyed this journey into Warren Buffett's wealth building strategies. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for more. And remember, the road to wealth is a journey, not a sprint. So, buckle up and enjoy the ride.